Catching big fish is honestly pretty straightforward. You fish with big fish baits at big fish locations during big fish times of year. Add all that together with a healthy dose of time on the water and success is inevitable. We had the time, so Ryan and I decided to see if we could put it all together and went on a drive. Hydration's key, Ryan. It is. You're uh, a lot more of a simple man than I am. I have my Akau, is that how you pronounce that? Akai? Blueberry pomegranate. They're actually delicious. I drink those all the time. Really? Yeah. Do you have any words of wisdom for someone who would go on a fishing road trip? Don't leave your snacks in the back where you don't know where they're at. Because <laughs> I can really go for a little snack. Heard it here yeah, first. Yeah. <laughs> it goes a little quicker in my kayak. A little bit. Yeah. I can paddle pretty fast, so just say it. Hey, hey. Hey, Spud, where are we fishing at? In the water. Oh, okay. <laughs> What, what are we going to use for bait? Cut bait. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good idea. I'm just going to do what you tell me to. What do you guys say, Ryan? Saying it's a little bit easier to row. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Morning River Rats, we are on the water and I'm with the catfishing expert, Jason, Cat Ground Guide Service. I'm going to do my best to just shut up and try and learn something today. Good luck. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to catch some blue cats. All right, let's go. All right, I'll go do my job. I'll start with that one. See how many tacos I can throw with it. I do love how when I said, you know, thanks for taking us out. You know, show my appreciation. I'll throw the cast net. Sold, you're hired. <laughs> Instant. <laughs> <coughs> Anybody who throws a net very often ain't gonna argue about it. Got him? Me either. Oh, I got a jumbo. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm up here catching bait. <laughs> Here I was feeling bad about getting my muddy boots in your boat. Now I'm getting a muddy net in your boat. That's one nice thing about these things. They clean up real nice. Just one garden hose session away from looking immaculate again. But I think I'm in the lead 2 nothing right now. Do those count? <laughs> you might add them up and they equal a quarter point. Lesson number one today for Spud. Oh, that's uh, that's ripe. Are we just throwing them on the pile? Yeah. All right. Okay, I see what you're doing. Now you made that look a lot easier. <laughs> Weird. Don't jinx us, Ryan. There's one, two, those are bigger. That's more of the uh, Shadzilla sized. I'll go back to my place. <laughs> well, I'm listening, don't worry. <laughs> I told you, I got my notebook. <laughs> Shut up, Spud. <laughs> look, look at the shadow on it. Oh, yeah. See? Right there. How thick the shadow is, that tells me more. Gotcha. You act like you've done this before. What do you know? This last week. <laughs> First YouTube's time. taught me a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to do what you do, man. What's that? The double hook rig. Oh, yeah. It's a Kentucky rig right there. Bro. Yeah. But I use it in Iowa, so I don't call it a Kentucky rig. It's a double hook rig. I heard you doing a video. So. That would be a fun one to run into. Not. Yeah, that one's solid. Be a big old... Big old flathead living under that one. What we could do. Let's tie off to it. Now you're speaking my language. Yeah. <laughs> you need me to come up there and coach you, bud? How big a chunks you want? Let's do the head. And for some reason, 
That has gotten a lot of big bites this year, and I don't know why, just the belly meat, but... It's the guts and stuff smell a Well, it's not really... I don't know if that, if it's the big white belly flashing mm. in there. That's just... Make me some steaks. Mm. Well, you brought the grill. Yeah, it did. Have you ever eaten shad? No. I feel like if there's a shad I was going to eat, I want to eat one like that. Well, you can try it. We got a couple. <laughs> we'll see if we can catch it some It would make more. it for good TV. It's... <laughs> You know what else would make for good TV? 110 pounder. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. Okay. And then, uh... The bird dog was on point. You smell them now? At least there's something around. It's already more action than we had yesterday. Had <laughs> had two of those yesterday. We're up to three now. <laughs> do you have a fish? How about that? Dr. Spud. Real big? No, he's huge. But it's a fish. 100 pounder? Nah. Take the zero off. <laughs> One of them. Well, even when the sun is out. It might be a little bigger than I thought. What does it say? Striper. Striper. <laughs> <laughs> Not complaining. Not nice a bad driver. one. Yeah. Nice driver. You need assistance? Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. Open your mouth. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you weren't kidding. That would be better than we thought. Yeah. But look, belly meat. Belly meat. <laughs> Turns out the guide knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Weird. Say something intelligent. I struggle with that lots of times. That's a nice striper. That's a nice striper. <laughs> water. Nice striper. In shallow water, too. Eight foot. Right? Yeah. We're definitely keeping this. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Snoopies are soaked. Snoopies. Forgot you guys were in there. <laughs> Me, too. It's been lubricated. <laughs> yeah, or de-lubricated. That's a good stripe. It is. <laughs> That's the what mid to high teener. I don't yeah. know. I oh, suck no, no. I at got guessing. A, I got a. Well, I got a whisk sticker scale. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. No, nope, on the belly meat. Noted. I added it to my notes. Belly meat equals good. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Short rod's getting a bite. He popped it and dropped it. That dog. For anybody watching this video, just be glad you can't smell through the camera lens <laughs> every time you open that cooler. So what I do when I'm drifting, and I'm gonna use planer boards, is I find out the maximum depth I'm gonna be drifting. Yep. And then add about anywhere from 10 to 20 feet. If it's shallow water, it's about 10 feet. And if it's deeper water, about 20 feet. Mm -hmm. And with the Akuma Co water, you have the line counter, and you can actually cast out and know exactly how much line you have out. So the biggest water we're drifting today or dragging through is gonna be about 12 feet. So that was actually way too far. Yeah, it was, but you wanted to show off your casting yeah, exactly. ability, so we so understand. We'll come back in about 20 feet, and then I'll hook the planer board on it. These are Parks planers, you know, from Kevin Parks. And then when I go to let go and, and take it, and we start pulling it, it will drift out and take out with it. Mm -hmm. So. And then once again with the line counter, I know exactly how far from here. I know if I'm 20 feet out on the from the planer and I go out 120 feet, I know my planer's now at 100 feet of line out. So it makes it real simple. I'm not very smart, so simple's good. <laughs> and now we set the table. It reminds me of shark fishing with the clickers going. <laughs> yeah, right now it's, it helps keep tension against the line if they start dragging out a little bit. No, I get it. That's it just clicker, right? drives me nuts. Oh, I like it. Got yeah. Right there. I told you. There's a fish. Grab. Crank down. Crank. Stay on there. There he is. <laughs> God, I feel like I'm fighting a fish on a rubber band. <laughs> yeah, where's he at? I don't know where you're at. Um, he's trying to, yeah, get in every one of them. Yeah. 
<laughs> Am I in it or over it? He ain't even big. Mass chaos over that one right there. <laughs> well worth it though. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you there? Mm, it's there. Okay. We're going to reel it in. Can you, can you feel him? Is he there? Bummer. Something hammered down on it though. Yeah, it did. You got a double. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Caught some shad. Only half a shad. Shark must have got the rest of them. Yeah. Oh, yellow fingerboard. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> On yours too. <laughs> He's he feels pretty heavy, honestly. He was yanking that fingerboard like it was nothing. Hey, he's he's fighting too. I guess we are moving. Not bad for a stolen fish. You're right. <laughs> Be a miracle if I got this in away from the other planers. He was a long ways away. Yeah. Stay out of there. In shallow water, I like to get him away from the boat. No, I get it. Right now, my left bice arm, bicep gets it too. <laughs> but I appreciate it. I'm enjoying it. I'm going to bring it underneath. Yeah. That was fun chaos. <laughs> Where's he at? Oh, he ain't bad. Fat. He looks like me on Thanksgiving. Yeah, he is. I'll save my fingers on today because we got a few other days to worry about him. He's chunky. Oh, and excited. I'm excited too. Sweet. Thanks, bud. Teaching me lessons. Thanks for letting me steal your fish. <laughs> Super generous. All right. Say what I think. <laughs> That's all right. You can let me hear it all you want. It's a long drive. Matt. It is. It makes for a more entertaining drive, though. Now I love how the the furthest back rod is going to be with the lowest gear ratio. <laughs> He snagged? No, it's probably just snagged too. <laughs> I just snapped loose. This one don't like to snap loose. There it goes. Save that one special for me. There you go. Sweet. And then this weight. So the that chunk's guaranteed 65 pounder, right? How do you hook that or move the decimal point one over? Okay. <laughs> How do you usually I hook would do these? it back here because it's that and you're gonna catch a lot of water as you on the drift. Gotcha. So I would come back there, even come through the meat. Oh, down through the top. Yeah, might be easier than trying to slide through all those scales. There you go. Clean trim. that tip off good. Yeah. I'm gonna trim that section. Now we're in business. You know, if you want to catch catfish, I mean, not just any catfish, but like big ones, gotta get you some quail eggs. Quail eggs. Because what happens is, you get that pickle juice on your fingers, and when you bait up, they can smell that and they like it. Oh, yeah. But only, well, only the old ones, all the young ones are like, ew, pick, pickled egg, you know? <laughs> the older ones, they like it. Thank you. Let the chef get to work. I'll check this one out for you. I'll zing it up front. That way you can get hung up in a log if it goes down. Catch catfish, take people catfishing, cook food. What 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 can't you do? Make babies anymore. Oh. <laughs> Still going. That's some good fire, man. It burns still wool. Right. Now I see you're going to be over there flipping 
brats, and that rod's going to get buried. Yeah, you will. See how good he is. Yeah. <laughs> Can you keep flipping brats while we're fighting this fish? I bought this little grill just for the boat. Works pretty slick. Wind died down. I'm getting hot. <laughs> keep him out of that anchor rope. Ow. Let me help you. Go. Yeah, go underneath. Well, that was exciting. Yeah. yeah there you go. <laughs> no. You just got to keep up with him. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah. I'll grab the net. Hang on, buddy. Oh, don't horse him. Don't horse him. Good fish. I'm coming. If you got to do that, I'm going to rotate the sausage. Okay. <laughs> Look at there. They know when you're not paying. It's about 40. Sweet. They knew we were cooking. Oh, oh, he's 40. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's he's at least 40. <laughs> Thought I had a bad net job. Yeah. Get his head over here. Yeah. Yes. Ugh, on the broomstick. Broomstick with the 209. Yo, good thing he wasn't clear the hell out on the planer board, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's a fishing trip. And that's why we drove 11 out. Well, I drove 11 hours to give you hell, mostly. <laughs> or I guess I will. <laughs> oh, he's stuck on something. I'm like, wow, he's really heavy. <laughs> Here, tell us more about it, Ryan. While this fish beats you up. <laughs> That's a stud, cool. man. That is awesome. And he kept him out of the anchor rope. And that fish was really close to the boat. You know he can't kill that 209. Right. <laughs> Let go. He said, "Okay, see ya." <laughs> Sweet. Now it's now it's lunchtime. I think <laughs> your sweatshirt listens right now. It's not even wet. It's just no. It's just extra insulation. When yeah. It cools down this evening. I'll be warm. And then sunscreen if the sun comes out. Tortillas are in that bag right there. Oh, that one. Gotcha. This is a freaking good. <laughs> I didn't used to this. You flip, treat me so nice, I might want to go fishing with you again. Putting buddies on 60 pounders. Mother Nature says we're done. <laughs> you had fun. You had your shots. You screwed them up. So you're out of here. Yep. <laughs> Hey, thanks for taking us out, Spud. We'll have to do it again sometime. <laughs> How about tomorrow? Great. You free? Good thing I'm here. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Mother Nature said, not today. You've had enough fun, so we're on the way out. But hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you watching. We're going to have more catfishing action and hopefully more catfishing catching action. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But really appreciate it. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Hope you catch a giant.